This video will review the Excel skills you need to complete case number five. Case number five is similar to case number four in that it requires the use of formulas, relative and absolute cell addressing, and proper worksheet design. Worksheet design is important because you can do what-if analysis. What if means if you change the assumption values here at the top of the spreadsheet, then all the formulas that reference those assumption values should and will automatically recalculate. That's what you want. In case number five, however, you will also need to do something called goal seek, which is the reverse of what if analysis. You seek a goal, in this case the total new grant salaries, by changing one input. And that input is usually one of the assumption values. So for example, what salary increase in C4 will generate a total new salary of exactly $40 million? So from the data ribbon, you go what if analysis and you select goal seek. So the goal you're seeking, the set cell, is a cell that contains a formula. It's a single cell that must contain a formula. And we want the formula in G7 to exactly give us the answer of 40 million and you are allowed to change one cell see there's no S on the end and the cell that you change cannot be a formula so we'll click on C4 which is an assumption value a single number and that's it so what number in C4 will generate the answer of 40 million in cell G7. And the answer is 9.395%. And you can see now that the formula in G7 is exactly 40 million. Now, solver is just a very sophisticated form of goal seek. In Goal Seek, you are only allowed to manipulate one number. In Solver, you can manipulate up to 200 numbers at the same time. So it is a much more powerful tool. Solver is located in the data ribbon, but you might not see it. So if you don't have Solver in the data ribbon, you have to click File, Options, Add-ins and you have to find it in the list of add-ins and down here click go and then make sure that the check mark is next to solver and click OK and that will place the solver command in the data ribbon. Solver is not a formula, it's not a function, it's a command so you simply have to know how to set it up. So I'll give you two examples. The set objective is your target cell that must contain a formula. So again, we'll go to cell G7. And we want the formula in G7 to exactly give us the answer or the total of, let's say, 14 million. So in this example, we want to reduce the salaries. So in this box, we list up to 200 input cells that Solver is allowed to change. So in this case, we'll select all of the salaries in column D. Because all the numbers we've selected are single cells that do not contain formulas. So let's see what happens when we solve found a solution. Now we have to be careful. If you click OK now, it is not possible to undo a solver result. Now 
in which case that means you should always save your file prior to issuing a solver command. So you can see, or maybe you can't, but every one of these numbers has changed in column D and the new total salary is exactly 14 million. Now because I cannot undo what I just did, I'm going to work with these existing lower salaries and we'll do another solver question. This time I want the total in G7 to exactly equal 18 million dollars and this time we'll be manipulating only two values and they are the assumption values. So C4 comma comma and C5. You can separate each variable cell with a comma or if they are next to each other you can select both of them as a range. But this time we want to add a constraint. We're, we want to tell Excel that the salary increase can go higher, not a problem, but we don't want the bonus increase to go more than 15%. So that's a constraint. We're going to add a constraint that says the bonus number in C5 cannot be higher than 15%, which means it's less than or equal to 15%. Okay, we can add more constraints. We can add as many constraints as we wish. But in this case, we're simply telling Excel, you can change whatever is in C4 and C5, but C5 cannot go any higher than 15%. So let's see if we get a solution. Found a solution. We're going to keep it. And we can see that we're pretty much exactly 18 million here and you can see that the bonus amount went to the max and no higher and now the salaries all had to increase by 26 percent so that the new total salaries equaled 18 million. And that's the conclusion of the review that you need to complete case number five.